and we're following developing news from the peninsula this midday. A woman died in a house fire this morning in Newport News. Crews were called to the Warwick Mobile Home community just before 4 o'clock this morning. That's on Troy Drive off Jefferson Avenue. We first brought you this story as breaking news on Wavy News 10 today. Our Asia Tolliver joins us live now from Newport News. Asia, what have you learned? Well, guys, a devastating scene here now that, you know, the sun's come up and you can really see what's going on. A lot is destroyed far in the back of the mobile home and then everything inside is practically gutted. And even though the fire is out, there's still a lot of crews here. There was actually even a dog named Cinco who who sniffs around for accelerants in these types of situations. Um, there's still officials back there. And I'm learning that they're still trying to work out the cause and things like that, but they're still clearly out here investigating lots to do. The scene is taped off so no one can interfere with what's going on. But dispatch says the 911 call came in around 4 a.m. from a tow truck driver for the fire. When crews got here, they pulled a woman from inside the home and she died a short time later. No other injuries were reported. 10 on your sides did speak to the woman who lives right next door, Zara Martinez. She says the woman who passed away was older and also took care of two little girls. Fire officials confirmed the children were not home at the time of the fire. Fortunately, Martinez said her family tried to use a sledgehammer to knock the door down, but they couldn't get inside because the flames were just too strong. My mother woke me up telling me the house uh, was caught on fire. So we tried to, we got this thing to knock the door so to help the family get out. But it was, I guess, too late. And then the, the guys came and they went inside to help find the family and the kids. Now the cause of the fire again is still under investigation and I'm being told the identity of the victim will likely not be released until tomorrow as they're still working to notify family members in this case. But stay with us. We'll have another live update for you in about 30 minutes. In Newport News, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.